Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator to find the standard deviation of the statistic topic. Right, because in my previous video, I already teach you like how to use the statistic function in this calculator to find the standard deviation. However, in this video, I will focus on how to use a spreadsheet function uh, to find a standard deviation. Yeah, some, stu some student might ask, since already have the statistic button already, I mean this function already, why do we still need to use the spreadsheet functions to solve the standard deviation? Yeah, the answer is very simple because if you use the statistic button uh, over here, basically it will tell you all the final answer only, like what's the standard deviation, what's the sum of f, sum of fx, and sum of fx squared. But then this button will not show you all the working because if you want to like fx squared, you need to f multiply x and multiply x again. Yeah, they will not show all this working of all these numbers. So sometimes if you got the wrong sum of fx value ready, it's for it's very hard for you to like check back which number actually got wrong and then you need to like check one by one. So if you are using the spreadsheet function, then you will you can see like all these number clearly and then you can avoid to make those kind of mistake and I believe it will save you a lot of time. All right, let's see how can we use this button. All right, but before I want to key in any number here, first I want you to understand about R. What is the formula for standard deviation first? All right, so this is a, this is a sign for standard deviation, which is sum of fx squared over sum of f minus sum of fx over sum of f squared. All right, you don't need to worry about this formula because this formula will be given in the exam. But then over here, you need to know like, how to find all this information you need. So the first thing is you need to know what is x value. x basically is the mid interval of the of your scoring here. So how to find the mid interval is quite straightforward. Like one plus five divided by two, like six plus 10 divided by two and so on. So yeah, you can plus it manually. So this one will give you three, this one will give you eight, this one will give you 13, 18, 23, 28. All right, this is all the x value. And then based on this formula, I know I need to find f multiply x, isn't it? So I want I need to find fx. After that, I need to sum all the fx value, which is we call sum of fx. We'll get a number here. And then we need to find fx squared so that we can find sum of fx squared. It means I need to sum all the number here. Okay, so after I got all this number, definitely you need sum of f as well. After I got all this number here, I can just plug into my formula and then eventually I will get my standard deviation answer. All right, so, okay, right now, what I want to do right now is I need to key the data into my calculator. So you need to tell your calculator you want A as your F or A uh, as your X. So over here, I just do not want to confuse myself. I will make A to become my F, my frequency and B to become my mid interval, okay? So if I do like this, this one is called A multiply B, isn't it? Because it's F multiply X. And then this one will be FX squared basically mean F multiply double of X, right? So it means F multiply with uh, X squared. So which is your F will be your A, isn't it? So this is A multiply B squared. Okay, because you need to understand like uh, what value you want to find. So when you key in, because each like mean each row over here, you kind of take A, B, C, and D. So therefore, later you need to know your fx basically is your C value, and then this one will be your D value. Okay, because just do not want to confuse yourself. All right, let's insert the value first. So this one will be five. Enter, 6 enter, 4 enter, 7 enter, 8 enter, 10 enter. All right, I make sure I enter all the 6 value here and then I go back to 1 to insert my mid interval. 3, 8, 13, 23, oops, 23, and then uh, 28. Oh, we missed up uh, 18, and then 23. And then 28. Yeah, you want to make sure like all the data you key in is correct, correct one. Alright, then 
over here, if I want to find sum of f here, that's mean I need to plus all the number. I don't want to do manually. I want to ask the calculator to do for me. So what I want to do right now is I go to the option and then I will come down uh, three times. Okay, I look for the sum, which is number four here. And I want to tell my calculator, I want it sum from my A1 all the way to the A6. Then this is how I do. I do alpha A1 all the way to, I use this sign. So you alpha and this uh, DYDX button here. And then A6. So I go to the A6. All right, then the calculator will sum all the number to me, which is 40. Then I can just insert the 40 here. Right now, I already got this number. All right, then... The next thing is, yeah, right now I want to find fx, which is a multiplied b. So it's quite easy. You go to the option, fill formula, and then over here you just need to tell the call, uh, formula what you, formula you want. You want which is a1 multiply b1, isn't it? Multiply b1. All right, and then over here you need to tell what's the range you want here, which is from c1 all the way to the c6, isn't it? Then the calculator will find all the value for you. They just copy, uh, which is 15, uh, which is 48, which is 52, which is 126. And then I will come down the last two value, which is 184 and 280. All right, then I want to sum of fx, right? I want to sum all these numbers. I will do the same thing again. Go to the option, go down three times, one, two, three. Look for the sum, number four. All right, then right now I want to sum from C1 all the way to the C6 internet. Then you just do alpha C1. Oops, doesn't press alpha, alpha C1 all the way to C6, C6. All right, then the calculator will do for me. Oh, sum of fx is 705. All right, then I want to do fx square here. So fx square here basically is a multiply b square isn't it? because I need to fill the formula. So fill the formula. So over here, I want it to be a and then multiply a1, uh, must select a1. All right, and then multiply b1 square, b1 square. All right, then the range will be d1 all the way to the d6, isn't it? All the way to the d6. Then the calculator will do for me as well. So this one is 45. 384676226 Yeah, make sure you copy the number correctly. And then it's 4232. And then the last one will be 7840. Okay, then I want to do the sum of fx square. I do the same thing. Go to the option, come down three times, look for sum. And then over here, I want to sum from D1 and then all the way to the D6. All right, then the calculator will sum for me, uh, which is one, five, four, four, five. All right, after I grab all this number already, then what I want to do right now is I will apply into my formula, isn't it? So my formula will be sum of fx squared over sum of f minus sum of fx over sum of uh, f whole thing square all right so over here i can go to menu one here then i can insert exactly the same thing here so i put a square root and then over here what is my sum of fx square value one five four four five all right yeah make sure you have double four only all right then sum of f will be 40 and then i will minus bracket Put another fraction. This one is sum of fx, which is 705 over 40. And then square. All right, so then, yeah, you before you square, you make sure you need to close the bracket, then only you square. All right, then you will get uh, this number, which is 8.688, one or two. All right, so of course in the exam, you need to write down all this number to show that, yeah, you do it manually. All right, so if I want to check my answer is correct or wrong, definitely this, you know this calculator can do for you. Yeah, so let's check whether all this uh, value is correct or wrong because the statistic button actually can help us to check all this value and the finest 
uh, standard deviation value so which is 8.688 so you can go to the menu and then you go to the statistic which is number six here and then one variable here you make sure you have the frequency if doesn't have the frequency you go to the shift menu come down to the uh, statistic number three here you turn it on okay if you turn it on they have the frequency already then over here you just need to insert the x and the f only so x will be 3 8 13 18 23 and 28 all right frequency you just need to insert all the frequency here which is tr uh, 3 8 oh uh, no so frequency the first one is 5 6 right so yeah make sure you do <laughs> Confuse yourself, yeah. Insert all the number correctly and carefully. Four, seven, eight, and ten. All right. After I insert all the, the value ready, I go to the option, look for one variable calculation, which is number three here. Yeah. Then you have all the number for you to check. So you can see sum of x here is seven o five, which is correct. All right. Here the doesn't give you sum of frequency. Uh, yeah, you don't have. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have sum of f, which is the call n here, which is forty. All right, and then you have uh, sum of f x square. But in this calculator, they will not show f x square, but it's the same thing because right now you in group data. So which is sum of x square? When I say sum of x square over here, basically means sum of f x square because just now you do insert the frequency. If you don't insert the frequency, then this one actually means sum of x square but over here after you insert the frequency already this one actually means sum of fx square which is 15445 15445 is exactly the same and then our standard deviation just now is 8.6882 right yeah so if you just see our final answer here 8.6882 all right so over here i hope you find the spreadsheet function useful to you because the purpose of doing the spreadsheet is because I can get all this number here correctly. All right. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher first you need to go in the shopee website and then at the search button over here you just tap casio you should be able to see something like search casio shop you click on it and then you should be able to see the casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the casio scientific calculator over here just in case you cannot see you can go into here search in shop over here you just tap 570ex and then the shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then click on it and then just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye